Guys, welcome to my Timu review. I actually put a lot of things in my cart and they sent them to me and I'm gonna show what they sent to me and then let you know how you can go as well. Click on my link. I have it in the description below so you can jump in and get all these awesome deals and details as well. So they sent me a bunch of stuff. I had just kind of been fiddling around, throwing some stuff in my cart and they threw this in. This is basically like a colander and a strainer with different parts to it so that you can strain smaller items if you're cooking. Um, these are just simply some storage boxes my kids were excited for because they're like, hey, we can use these. These are coffee filters. Um, I was like, hey, coffee filters, let me check them out. Um, they're all flat, you fold them up. They seem very, very thick for coffee filters. Um, I was messing around with some combs because I was like, man, I'm out of combs. My kids keep taking them. And they sent these combs. They kind of like have a pick on one end and then the comb on the other. These are like 49 cents, guys. They were like super cheap, super cheap combs. Um, this is a rotary shave and nose hair cleaner right here. Um, just one that you can stick in your pocket and take with you. Um, double nose hair knife. Again, this was these. all these items are like a dollar or cheaper. Um, this is a digital thermometer. Um, this is what you can use for cooking. Um, it is, it's something, I haven't even opened this yet. It's got a little hanging hook on it. And then there you go, there's your little screen right there. This was about $2, again, all on Timu, uh, the Timu app. Um, this is a meat chopper. Never used one before, thought I would try it. Again, it was really cheap. Um, just a meat chopper, <clears throat> super cheap. If you need the item number, I'm gonna list some of these in the description below. But all you have to do is grab it and then it, click on my link, go through that so you can get that affiliate discount and order these. This is just a one pack of random small brush for like brushing on items or brushing on sauce on your chicken um, when you're cooking your steak, whatever. This is a pizza slicer slash chopper. I'm not, I'm sorry, just a pizza slicer. Um, you can open it this way and it snaps. Listen, there you go. And it cuts. So there you go, pizza, slice, slice. you could do pizza, you could do other items for this and then it uh, easily closes as well. And uh, keep it safe as well while it's in the drawer, not cut yourself. Uh, this is a sink strainer. Uh, sometimes you forget you need these. Um, when you're, you know, you have a, we just have a disposal in ours. So I can drop this in and it works. These are uh, cleaning cloths. Let's put it that way. They're very small, very cheap, but very small. They are thick and they are soft, but I don't know. They almost feel like little pieces of, I don't know, like little pieces of carpet. It's very small. These are larger washcloths. Um, they sent me like 10 of these. These are like $1.50 for these guys. Just real simple. And they came, I didn't even have a label on them or anything. Um, and then this was some kitchen supplies right here is what they call it. Kitchen supplies. So you have your brushes, you have your spatulas in here, um, all different sizes. And they, they are pretty heavy. They're heavier than you would think uh, for just a couple dollars. This was supposed to be like a shoe holder or hat holder, actually more like a hat holder. Um, it is very thin and interesting to say the least. Um, I guess it just hooks up over the door right here because it folds. And let's just try that real quick. All right. All right, there you go. So it holds 12 hats. I mean, you can get it to hold 12 hats. Um, and there you go. I have another one here. And then I goofily, I was messing around a little too much. And these are closable, like closed baskets or storage baskets. So they open up pretty easy. Again, just a couple dollars. Uh, and they sent me several. So I basically, and uh, those clothes baskets fit in like a, a bag like this. So I basically was kind of just looking at this. I was thinking, do I want to even try this? They sent me all these links and you gotta do this. You're an influencer, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, let me try it out. Um, they are not the highest quality products, but they're also not that expensive. Uh, they have a lot of deals. They have a lot of options for people who don't want to spend that much money. So if you're interested in that, click on it. There's so many good reviews out there. My wife has gotten other items from there that she really enjoyed. So you may get lucky and strike some gold with some of these products. And these aren't like the cheapest things I've ever seen. It's like a step above Dollar Tree, 
but it's not like you're going to Belk and getting items. These combs seem nice. I'm gonna use all of these products, the thermometer, the meat chopper. I'm gonna use these items for sure around the house, around the kitchen. Um, but they're they're smaller than I thought, like these baskets are smaller than I thought they would be. And then, um, and I have like five of them, um, like right down here too, I got another one. And then I got a really bigger one right here. Um, and they look like they'll work and they're not like, they don't feel like they're falling apart. They don't feel like paper, but there you go. So that's kind of my quick haul review. It's up to you if you guys want to try them out. Again, click the link in the description below to get uh, to get my affiliate link and that gets you discounts. And then it lets them see that, hey, I've been uh, purchasing these as well. So thank you guys for watching Buster Bust. Um, ah, it's, I don't want to rate these as a must. It's hard to do uh, because it's hard to put my endorsement on these. However, I will tell you that it is worth at least clicking and trying and you might find something that you like. So 100% honesty, hopefully you can jump in and don't be like some of those folks that are like, oh my goodness, this is the best thing that's ever happened in the world of shopping. It's not, but it's pretty good. Thanks for watching Mustard Bus. See you on the next one, guys.